When choosing a roller, take a tip from a professional. What's important for me are the following things. One, I want a roller that doesn't lose lint or fluff onto the surface so I get a nice finish. Secondly, what I want is I want a roller that delivers that smooth, professional finish. And thirdly, I want a roller that when I load it up, picks up and releases a lot of paint so I get really good coverage out of each loaded roller. And fourth, yep, I want a roller that I can use again. And here's a painter's tip for you. Before you start actually using the roller, give it a wash under running water for about 30 seconds to a minute, just to get any loose fluff off. And then make sure you shake out as much water as you possibly can. But to get all the water out, slip the roller on your roller frame, walk over to a wall, and spin all the excess water out. And wipe off the excess with a rag. Monarch Razorback rollers are fantastic. They're made from a high quality fabric called Draylon and there's a different nap length for every project. The little thin 5mm nap is ideal when you want to get a smooth finish on your doors. At the other end of the scale, when you tackle rough surfaces, there's a 20mm nap roller to do that. And in between, a 9mm and a 12mm quality fabric to do those ceilings and walls. When painting feature walls, I like to use a 9mm nap roller because it gives me a smooth finish with less stipple. Stipple is like the pattern on an orange and the thinner the roller, the less stipple. 9mm nap rollers are also a great choice for darker coloured paints which highlight more stipple. I like to use the 12mm nap roller for most ceilings and walls because it's thick enough to get good coverage on ceilings and smooth enough to get a great finish on walls. The 20mm nap rough surface roller is perfect for bricks and textured surfaces because it gets into all the nooks and crannies. For doors and cupboards, use a 5mm nap roller. It puts on a smooth, thin film of paint for the perfect finish. And here's a little secret. You don't have to wash your roller out in between coats. If you're painting overnight, simply load the roller with paint and wrap it up in cling wrap. Or, if it's the job for next weekend, load it, wrap it in cling wrap, and then wrap it up in some L-foil, and it'll stay moist for the whole week. So, if you want to get a finish like a professional painter, use a Razorback roller.